one day last April. I was living with my grandma in Mount Bedford, New York, and she was determined to teach me to become a proper young lady. But that day in particular, I was more interested in getting away from my next door nuisance, Eddie Ryland. Samantha! You're so dumb, you probably think three times four is 12. Three times four is 12, Eddie. Now, if you don't leave me alone, I'll find your money jar and empty it in the river. You're too dumb to find it. Eddie Ryland, you! <laughs> new servants. The big one is my new maid. But she's too young to be a maid. Maybe her mother is the maid. <laughs> it's Granddad. Who's that? Look at that water. Come along now, Bridget. I'm tired, Dad. I know. It won't be long. And I know you're hungry, Jenny, but you'll just have to wait. <laughs> you did? I didn't do nothing. You threw a rock and broke the window. And I'm gonna tell us you pay me a penny. I don't have a penny. She is not paying you a cent, Eddie Ryland. And if you make any more trouble, I'll tell your mother that you took her good petticoat and made a kite's tail out of it. Oh, I'm really scared, Samantha. Samantha. I live next door. I'm Nellie, and this is Jenny and Bridget. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to him. Have to pay some attention, miss, if we want to keep our place here. Nellie girl, come along now. Are you going to Mount Bedford School? Maybe we'll be in the same class. I don't go to school, miss. We're here to work. May I see you tomorrow? <laughs> like I said, I'll be working, miss, from the sides of this place from dawn to dusk. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, Nellie. Goodbye, Bridget. Goodbye, Jenny. Goodbye. Goodbye. They're beautiful. The Rylands have new servants, a father and three girls, and one of them's my age. <laughs> Samantha, look at those stockings. Your grandmother won't like that. No, she won't. Yes, Mrs. Hawkins. Be sure to wash your hands now. Yes, Mrs. Hawkins. Hello, Samantha. Hello, Grandmary. I trust you have a good explanation for that tear in your stocking. I, I fell. I'm sorry. You weren't running, were you? Not when I fell, no. Haste makes waste, Samantha. Yes, Grandmary. Did you know there are three girls that... You can tell me over tea, dear. Begin practicing. Three girls are moving next door. Samantha, One of please begin. Afternoon mail, Miss Edwards. Thank you, Jesse. You can just leave it on the table, please. Is there anything from Uncle Guard? We'll 
open the mail later, dear. But he's coming back when he said. He didn't miss the boat, did he? Samantha, please, just finish your practice. For Mount Bedford, I mean. New York City. Oh, my Uncle Gard lives in New York City. Dad and I worked at a factory there. You worked in a factory? Yes, but Dad thought we'd be better off living in the country now. Is your mother? She died, miss. Last winter. If you don't go to school, would you like to borrow some of my books? Wouldn't do no good, miss. Unless they're all pictures. Oh. My mother was going to teach me to read, but... I could teach you every day beside the head. Oh, I wish I could, miss. You can. You can bring some work with you. Like darning or mending. Can't you? You have to sit down sometime, and I could sit with you. It isn't hard to learn. Thank you, Jesse. Uh, just leave it on the table, please. Jesse? Yes, miss. How old were you when you first started to work as a maid? Would you like anything else, ma'am? No, thank you, Jesse. That will be all. Samantha? Yes? We do not discuss personal matters with the servants. But in the kitchen, we talk about all sorts this of... This is not the kitchen. The secret to a happy household is for everyone to know their place. Do you understand? Yes, Grand Mary. Good. Are you enjoying your needlepoint? Yes, Grand Mary. Then I'm sure you will have no interest in that package that's addressed to you. <laughs> Uncle Gard! How can he get here before he did? It's not due for three weeks. Oh. What is it? Oh. It's a stereopticon. Oh. Well. He says put in the first slide, right. and I will see where he is right now. Slide. Oh, my. It's Paris, the Eiffel Tower. As if we were really there. Uncle Guard always gives me the best presents. He's taking me to the exposition in St. Louis for a whole week in July. We're going to see Japanese pagodas and temples and eat peanut butter and very pleasant everything. They make butter out of peanuts? That's what Uncle Guard says. And what's fairy floss? Uncle Guard says it's made out of pink sugar and comes on a stick. Uncle Guard is the best person I know. But in your mind, eh? Should I say something? Maybe we should start your reading lesson. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, miss. Parents were gone. Like your mother. Only in an accident on the river. Both of them? That's awful. I don't know what I'd do without my dad. You want to see them? She's beautiful. And he's so handsome. He used to sing to me. Sometimes I try to hear her voice, but it just slips away. I know. 
I wish I could ask Grandmary. But speaking about Mother hurts her too much. I keep them close this way. I like that you're here, Nellie. I think we'll be great friends. I've never had a real friend outside the family. What well, you do now, Nellie O'Malley. Friends forever.